I presume you're talking about low interest rates, and what's been coming out lately is that the decline in interest rates is squeezing the bank's profit margin, uh, which is true. And the reason it does that is because the banks have a lot of money that they don't pay interest on at all. Um, the big four have about $750 million worth of that money. Um, some of it's from some of its equity, just trade equity that they um, they pay dividend on, but it's not. But doesn't have a, an absolute cost of funds. They, there's also um, transaction accounts that they don't pay interest on, uh, and a bunch of other sources of money that adds up to seven hundred and fifty million dollars. Now, uh, obviously, uh, being zero interest on it, that interest is set, and their margin is what uh, from that to whatever they're charging for the money. Um, and so for that, pass, that portion of the money, the, the margin simply comes down. As interest rates fall that they can, that they can charge for their money, um, uh, the margin on that money can, uh, has, to cha- has to fall. Even, so um, whereas with deposits, they can, as interest rates fall on loans, the deposits come down as well. Um, so the margin stays much the same. Um, it is true that that, they, they, that doesn't work with um, the money that they're not paying interest on because that uh, that's obviously stable, it doesn't change. And also, as interest rates fall, it's harder for them to uh, make the same margin between deposit rates and lending rates. I mean, when, when the lending rate is, say, 7% or even 10%, say, um, you can make a 2% or 3% margin between the cost of funds because... You know everything's quite high, but it gets so you can make two or three percent margin uh, when the lend, you know interest rates are ten percent. But when the interest rates are three percent, you can't do that because obviously the whole thing is three percent. You can't make a three percent margin anymore. Um, so the margin gets squeezed, um, uh, which is why they don't pass on the bank rates. So uh, as the whole structure of rates come down, um, the the gap between the interest rate they get and the zero interest rate obviously shrinks, but also the uh, the interest rate between deposits and loans also shrinks because they're just everything's just so much uh, smaller.